Uh, let's start with your first game, Bear. We're going to the ACC Conference. NC State plus three and a half at Duke. The total is 45 here. NC State, North Carolina State, that is, is four and two. They've covered only two of their six games. They just beat Marshall 48-41 last weekend. Duke is four and one, having lost their last game to Notre Dame on the final play of the game before their bye weekend. The Devils are, are uh, three and two against the spread, Bear. Where are you leaning here? I'm, I'm leaning towards taking NC State plus the three and a half. I would be very surprised uh, if Riley Leonard, the Duke quarterback, played in the game. He suffered that really ugly ankle sprain late in that loss against Notre Dame. It's had the least, bad. Yeah. I thought it would be worse than what it was, but, uh, you still don't but do Lester Hardy was, right? yeah. was in a boot. They have Florida state on the road next week. I, I think they just try and get out of this game with the backup Bellin uh, against the Wolfpack and have Leonard healthier for the game in Tallahassee next week. NC state. I, I was against them last week with Marshall and that uh, was a kind of a back and forth game and just got, got beat by, uh, a, a little bit, but I think the move to MJ Morris at quarterback kind of helped their offense oh, yeah. quite a bit. It was the first time I think that they gained over 400 yards against a power five offense this year, uh, w- w- which is pretty telling. Um, so give me uh, give, give me NC state plus the points here, uh, plus a three and a half in, in Durham. And uh, I'll expect the, uh, the Wolfpack to, to play well. And maybe Duke's offense just clearly not to be yeah. what it can be with, 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 with Leonard, who really is everything for them. Uh, at quarterback, so give me NC State. I think there's some concern of if you're backing Duke here about the emotional effect of losing that close game, and then you have a bye, and then your quarterback gets hurt. Like everything kind of happened all at once. And so I'm with you on NC State. Their offense, as you mentioned, since Armstrong got benched, is just much better. It, it looks much better. They had to do that. All right, let's get to the game I teased: Miami at North Carolina. Miami is plus four. Total is 57 and a half. Miami is four and one. We know how they lost their game. We're not going to do that again. The three and two against the spread. North Carolina is 5-0. and 4-1 and gets a spread. They're led by potential first overall pick. And quarterback Drake May, their defense is improved this season. They couldn't get much worse than last season. They just beat up on Syracuse over the weekend. Where are you going here, buddy? Well, this is going to be one of those because it's college football type results. Yes. And you know Miami will win this game, right? Absolutely. Yes. It's just 100%. the way the sport works. You suffer a devastating loss last week. Nobody everyone's jumped off your bandwagon. Uh, you're going on the road against the North Carolina team, which has been put up a bunch of points in recent weeks. Uh, defense has played much better than it has in recent years. Carolina has owned this series. Last couple of years have been really good field goal type yeah. games, and, and Miami very easily could have won. Uh, either of those games had a late turnover last year, uh, deep in North Carolina territory when they, were, when they were going into either tie at worst or potentially take the lead. But I think getting on the road, getting out of South Florida, having a big game circled on the on the schedule yeah. after what happened last week, I, I think this is a really good opportunity for them to kind of look. The only way you erase what happened last week is if you win out. Now. Yes. Because that was a game you should have won. You're a 20 point favorite, and it would have given you like a margin for a loss against Carolina or Clemson or Florida State later in the year. Now you probably got to win all three of those games yeah. to get to the ACC title game. So the only way to do it, step one, is winning Saturday in Chapel Hill. And just because the sport is ridiculous and crazy, <laughs> you know how this one's going down. Uh, I'm with you on this one here. Uh, worth noting that Mario Cristobal, at least at Oregon, they won a lot of big road games. He, he kind of at home kind of flubbed around a little bit. Oh, by the way, he hasn't Perez. won a, con- and he's a conference home game yet at Miami. Yeah, he, he has no. not. Yeah. Like he just has been better on the road. They, you know, they won at Ohio State, obviously. Yep. He, he, won at, he, he won at USC a couple times as head coach. Like he just, their teams play better on the road. They're back on the road. Off that embarrassing loss. The overfield is laying play for me here with both these offenses being able to score. I'm not sure how good North Carolina's defense is. One other little Drake May nugget. Um, I don't know what the numbers are. Maybe I could find them for Drake May first overall pick. There's going to be a healthy debate this spring about Drake May and Caleb Williams. Um, I know people think I'm crazy when I say this. I've said this before on social media. They're like, oh, how dare you say that? I'm just telling you guys, watch watch Drake May play. There's a lot of, okay, this is sort of in a pro offense. A lot of Caleb Williams play. It's part of the offense. It's not a lot of in rhythm stuff, right? Like I'm just telling you, there's going to be discussion whether you like it or not. Yes, there is about Drake May, and if there's a value right now in taking him to be the first overall pick, might be worth a little sprinkle at some point. Let's get to your your third game here. Go to the SEC conference, a team you've you've wagered on I think a couple times, four and against Auburn 
at LSU. LSU favored by 11 and a half. Total is 61 here. Auburn is three and two. They lost their last two conference games before they went on a bye week. They've covered only two of their five games. LSU is four and two after a road win in Missouri. They're three and three against the spread. Lucky to cover last weekend. If you had Missouri, I'm very sorry for you. That was a very tough beat. But they're six and zero oh to the over. They allow a ton of points, Bear. Oh, Where are you going here? Their defense is terrible, but I'm laying the 11 with LSU yeah. here. Like, like, uh, if LSU didn't have the two losses, like Jaden Daniels' his name would be getting a lot more Heisman yeah. discussion and conversation yeah. right now. But I just don't think like Auburn's defense is going to do what they can to keep them in the game. I, I can't see them getting very many stops in this game. The, the, the perfect elixir for the LSU defense is the Auburn offense. Yeah. It's the team... If you look at the, the, the three power five opponents that they played this year, they're thrown for a combined 238 yards. The passing attack is non-existent. That's what's gotten LSU yeah. uh, this year. Teams throwing the ball against a depleted secondary. I, I, I hate the matchup. It feels like Auburn's a little bit of a, a public type underdog, double digits on the road against because people think, oh, the LSU defense is bad. They were lucky to win last week. In, in, in Baton Rouge, that offense yeah. and, and, and an Auburn offense that I isn't built to, to be chasing points all day. I'm going to lay the 11 with LSU. LSU's defense did get more stops than I thought they would against Missouri. Like they, they got enough to win they that did, game. Yeah. They play much better. Second, I think Missouri had 22 points at halftime. I think I ended up with thir- with 39, obviously, and that late touchdown at the end of the game ended up yeah. costing the the cover for Missouri backers there. So yeah, Auburn just I mean they scored 14 points at Cal, and Cal just gave up 52 to Oregon right. State. Like it's it's their offense cannot move. This is one of my favorite rivalries too because it's oh it's always it's one of those like something crazy happens and not even like on the field. Barn fire one year at Auburn. You had that earthquake game with Tommy Hotz where they late come back in the ground, shook in the, the, the yeah. seismologist actually size, size, uh, measured that the yeah. ground was shaking. The earthquake people. You had uh, Les Miles screw up the yeah, earthquake. Yes, thank you. You, <laughs> you, you and I, the earthquake people. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah, you had Les Miles screw up the clock management. Oh, we had a time. Oh, wait, throw it up. Is a, something ridiculous always happens in this game, so I can't wait to see what it is on Saturday. Uh, let's get to your last game here. We're going a little bit off off the map, which I love. We covered you know, some Power 5 games. Let's get to, to your now, your Group of 5 game here. Troy favored by 4.5 at Army. Total is 43 and a half. Troy's four and two. They've won three straight games against uh, teams that are not been very good, but they've won those games pretty handily. They're two and four against the spread. Army is two and three. They're two, two and one against the spread here. Where are you going, Bear? Troy's rush defense is allowing 84 yards a game. That's fewer than Clemson. That's fewer than Michigan. And I just don't think Army has the offensive diversity yeah. to be able to overcome the lack of a big running game against a team that defends around them. They, they hung in the game against BC, maybe very easily could have won the game, they hung in the game against Syracuse. But, 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 I, but I think Troy here is the play. We've seen their defense play very well uh, in recent weeks. It's a team that since the, since, since the two-point loss to JMU it, it has looked very competent, and uh, I, I think they're the right side here laying the, uh, laying the four and a half. Is Jamie going undefeated this year? Are they going to be in a, a playoff team? At, well, they they, they, team, got, guess, they got a they got a big be... game this week. They got they got Georgia Southern. This Georgia week. Southern, yeah. We, 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 that's a very big game. It, I actually thought about taking Georgia Southern in a twelve team playoff. If they went twelve and zero, they'd be in, right? I imagine. Yeah, they would probably be the highest ranked group of five team. I'm yeah. Think. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. All right, go from FCS champs a couple of years ago to potentially yeah, I know college football playoff. That, that's a fast. That's a fast rise. They've been a, they've been a very very good team for a. A long period of time, and the way that program was built, I think made, made the transition to the F- to FBS yeah. pretty easy. Georgia Southern, by the way, is plus six. This the game opened at three and a half. So it's the, the really game. other hmm. yeah, plus six right now. Oh, oh, we are we adding? Are we adding a, a fifth? You'll have to you'll, <laughs> you'll have to you'll have to check that column on FoxSports.com by the time Friday comes out and see what we've uh, what we've added because there will be some ads. Let's uh, let's recap the four wagers that Bear has made so far. You have NC State plus three and a half at Duke. Miami plus the four at North Carolina. Auburn at LSU. You're laying the points with LSU minus 11. And Troy is favored at Army by four and a half. You are taking Troy here minus four and a half. They've, again, they've beaten uh, really all the bad teams they play in Army. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.